Hello everybody, this is uh, General Yanis, and today in Death Card Tactics I'm going to be looking at grenades uh, in the Death Card Army and the Blightening Stratagem special uh, combo, let's say. Uh, so let's uh, get started. So today the 15th of March, uh, so uh, I have the 2000 point game coming up and I'm very excited about it and I have to prepare my list and uh, also put the final painting and assembly on my, the units I want to bring. So I started on uh, my Asmic Malignant Fire and the clock is ticking so I hope I can have it ready by Sunday. So uh, it's quite a, quite a big model actually. But uh, in, this, uh, in this video I will be reviewing uh, the grenades in the Death Card Army. Uh, and I'm particularly bad at remembering that we have uh, grenades, so I typically never fire a grenade and I always, almost always forget that, that we have them, so shame on me and um, I, I, will, I will try to remember uh, in the games going forward. So I will start uh, looking at the statistics, uh, yeah, the, the weapon stats for the grenades we have, uh, the basics of using them and which units uh, in our codex have them. Uh, and then I will be looking at uh, what uh, grenades to use, blight grenade, crack grenade, or using the normal weapon of the units. Then I will be looking at Biologus Putrefier, which is really good with grenades. Foul Blight Spawn has some special grenades, uh, also Mortarion. And then at the end, I will also be looking at this uh, the Blightening uh, Stratagem. So let's uh, uh, dive into it. So uh, let's look at the grenade stats and, and the basics of, of grenades. So if we start uh, with, uh, we have the, the Blight Grenade, which is a grenade D6 uh, type weapon. The range of the grenades is six inches and the Blight Grenades are a plague weapon. And then the strength is uh, strength four, AP zero and damage one. And it's a blast weapon, which is quite good uh, against uh, some type of yeah, weaker horde infantry, of course. Um, and we have um, a lot of a lot of the units uh, in our you know in the Death Card Army have access to blight grenades, and the same also have access to crack uh, grenades. Um, so the exception here is Typhus that only has blight grenades, and then um, the others uh, we have Chaos Lord, Lord of Ireland's uh, Playcaster, the Malignant Playcaster, our Plague Marines most importantly, the Blightbringer, Foul Blight Spawn, Taliman the Surgeon, and then Biologus uh, Putrefier all have uh, grenades. And the Crack Grenade is, uh, is only one grenade, uh, also the same range. It's not a plague weapon, and but this uh, has the advantage that it has a higher strength, AP-1 and damage 2, but it's not blast, of course, being one grenade here. Then if we look at the, some of the special grenades, then we have the Hyper Blight Grenades, also Grenade D6, uh, range 6 inches, a Plague Weapon, Strength 4, AP-1 and Damage 2, so better damage and with some AP helping the damage output of, uh, of the Hyper Blight Grenades, and this is a blast. And it's by the Biologus Putrefier that has this, um, this uh, grenade. And additionally, units uh, within uh, 6 inch of the Biologus that have Blight Grenades, so any of those here, they uh, when they when they are throwing grenades, they can use uh, the stats for the hyper blight grenades instead. So minus one AP and uh, additional damage here. So this is this is uh, quite good. And then we have foul blight spawn has a special grenade, the unholy heads grenade. It's a grenade two d six, uh, strength five AP minus one damage one. Also a blast. It's only once per battle. Uh, this grenade. And then uh, Mortarion, our Primarch, of course, he has the Phosphex Bombs, uh, Grenade 2d6, also 6-inch range, not the Plague Weapon, unfortunately, Strength 5, AP-1, and Damage uh, 1, and it's a Blast Weapon. And then uh, the final grenade we have is the Orb of Desiccation, uh, so it's a Grenade 3d3 option for the Lord of Contagion, if he takes the Man Reaper for plus 5 points, uh, so this is a Plague Weapon. Uh, strength 4, AP-1, damage 2, basically like the hyper blight grenades. It's a blast weapon and it can only be used once per battle. So uh, the rules for using grenades say that in the core rules, when a unit shoots, only, let's say, one model in that unit uh, that is equipped with a grenade can use it instead of shooting any other weapons. Uh, so, um, so uh, yeah, for example, a Plague Marine who has a bolter, he can he can either choose to shoot a grenade or or to or to do the bolter, and it's only one model in a unit of Plague Marines, for example, that can do so. The blast rule, of course, 
says that uh, when we th when we deter decide determine the number of shots, if we are firing at enemies with more than six plus model, we get at least three shots. Any with enemy units with ten or, ten or more models, uh, at least uh, six, six shots. Uh, so grenades are of course short range weapons with only six inch range. And uh, if we want to increase the range, uh, we can use uh, overwhelming generosity stratagem for one command point. And this can give a plague weapon plus six inch to its range if needed. So in this case, we could get a 12 inch, uh, 12 inch grenades for the plague weapons at least. Uh, but yeah, this can be used. Uh, this could be maybe situationally useful to remember that if you really need to throw some grenades um, and they are a bit far away, uh, you can you can think about this uh, this stratagem. So as we saw in the Death Guard army, the Plague Marines all carry grenades. They have Blight and Crack grenades, and this is the same for the Virion. They are elite characters, and then from the HQs, the Chaos Lord, Lord of Ireland, and the Malignant Playcaster also have this uh, option. And Typhus only carries uh, Blight grenades. The Beauligus Purifier has Hyper Blight grenades, and uh, as I said, Bubonic Astartes units within six inch of him that have Blight grenades can uh, can throw, let's say, with improved uh, damage and AP. And the Flower Blight Spawn and the Lord of Contagion uh, can have once per battle grenades, and Mortarion has his Phosphex bombs. So uh, let's uh, look at um, a lot of our units have Blight and Crack grenades. So which one should we select? And here I'm assuming we're at six inch range and we're not yet putting the enemy uh, in minus one toughness uh, contagion. So this is the average damage of a grenade, not point corrected. And down here we have a variety of targets. Here are targets with uh, invul saves. Here we have targets with no invul saves. And then the, the targets have different, uh, let's say, increasing toughness, different saves. And uh, some of them are only one wound models, uh, etc. And we can see here the blue is the blight grenade and the, the orange is the, the crack grenade. So the blight grenades are always better to use against enemies that have only one wound, of course. The crack grenade is doing D3 damage, uh, so, uh, so, uh, but, so it's better for one wound molds to have more shots. And here we can see, especially here against uh, this bit cheaper uh, infantry units, more chaff-like enemies, it's better to use the blight grenades. Uh, here it's it's quite quite similar, but of of course there is uh, some difference. Here I haven't I haven't calculated with the blast bonus. So if there are a lot of cultists etc., then we would be able maybe to shoot, shoot even more. Here I'm just assuming the 3.5 average uh, shots with the with the blight grenade. The crack grenade is a little bit better against toughness 5, toughness 6, and toughness 8 targets, and if the targets have more than one wound. So uh, yeah, so for, for a lot of cases, the, the blight grenade is the best option, but is it better to shoot uh, a grenade or the normal weapon of the, of the units? So here I'm comparing the damage between grenade or normal typical weapons that these uh, models have at six inch range. Here I'm still uh, assuming no minus one toughness. And typically, as we see, the units with grenades uh, have typically bolt or plasma pistols, for example, the Playcaster or the Taliman or Noxious Blightbringer or something like this. They could have bolters like Plague Marines, Combi Bolters, could be the Chaos Lord, similar type of weapons. The Plague Marines can also have, of course, special ranged weapons. And of course, if the model, um, if there is some models in your army that are within six inch range and they have grenades and they only have melee weapons, for example, a marine with a, a flail or typhus with a, with his grenades, or uh, if we have, let's say, a cleaver marine or something like this, that they don't have any other weapon to shoot, of course, choose this model to fire a grenade. Uh, but if you have some of the other, uh, some of the other uh, models, for example, if they only have a bolt pistol or something like this, we can compare in this uh, in this diagram. So here we can see um, the the orange is the crack grenade. Uh, the 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 blue is hidden behind the yellow line. Is the is the is the crack uh, grenade, uh, the blight grenade. Sorry. And down here we have, for example, a bolt pistol. And here is the bolter firing two shots of the bolt. So this is always the grenades are basically always better uh, than than shooting a bolt pistol or a bolter. And they are also um, 
better for a lot of targets if we if we have a plasma pistol and the combi bolter is basically equal to the blight grenade and here we see if we have a plasma gun or a blight launcher of course those those special weapons with two shots of the plasma and two shots of the blind launcher it's better than grenades so we can summarize that grenades are always better than a bolter or a bolt pistol and almost equal to a combi bolter uh, and a grenade is better uh, versus a horde type enemy uh, with uh, against the uh, uh, basically than, than a combi bolter or other weapons uh, and grenades are typically better than a plasma pistol but not better than a plasma gun or blight launcher so in this uh, in this graph, I, it's, it's more for your reference. So here is the grenade damage, uh, the summary table. Here you can see all the different targets from the previous graph, and then the average expected damage for the blight grenade, the crack grenade, and then um, the other typical weapons like bolter, combi bolter, bolt pistol, plasma pistol, and plasma gun, and the blight launcher. So we can see which units are, uh, yeah, well, what the expected damage is. Moving on to Biologus Putrefire, his hyper blight grenades. So uh, here we see again the blight grenade and the crack grenade uh, versus uh, the different targets. And with a dashed uh, blue line here, we see what uh, happens if we have a hyper blight grenade. This really improves the damage of the of the blight grenade for for most of the of the targets here. And um, and we can see that it comes even close to being better than a, than a blight launcher. So uh, it's always better to throw uh, such a grenade instead of a crack grenade and better than bolters or plasmas and even competes uh, with a blight launcher. So of course, the Biologus uh, hyper blight grenade is really uh, useful in the battlefield. If we look at the Fall Blight Spawn and his uh, special once per battle unholy heads grenade, here is the expected damage of the unholy uh, heads grenade. It's 2d6, so I'm assuming here seven shots on average. And here is the plague sprayer, his other weapon uh, with no upgrades. And basically, you can see uh, there is not many situations uh, where he would be better off uh, throwing the grenade. It's probably better for him to, to, if he can shoot with the plague sprayer. And also, the plague sprayer has a 12 inch range, while the grenade is limited to uh, only six inch range. So. Yeah, always, uh, almost better, uh, always to 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 shoot with a flamer weapon instead of the unholy heads grenade for the foul blight spawn. And then, if we look at the phosphex bombs of Mortarion in six inches, here I'm assuming the minus one toughness aura in effect. Uh, Mortarion has a nine inch uh, contagion range, and he can reroll once. And this is expected damage, not point corrected. And here we see the orange is the phosphec bombs, the 2d6 grenades, and here's the lantern pistol. Uh, we can see for nearly most targets, if Mortarion is within six inches, it's better to throw the, the grenades, um, especially weaker ones uh, or targets with invul saves. Uh, however, uh, with the lantern, the pistol, if you can trace <coughs> the the firing uh, through multiple units, the lantern could do several damage to to more models. So it could be it's it's probably better doing so uh, if you can apply the damage to multiple units. So uh, moving on to the blightening stratagem. So the blightening uh, stratagem is for one command point, and we can use the stratagem in our our shooting phase, and we can select up to three death guard models, and it's important to focus on models and not units so we can select up to three uh, death card models from the army and until the end of the of the phase plague weapons with a grenade type uh, are uh, they they lose the blast ability uh, and they they get a type characteristic of pistol six and additionally if we are if we are attacking with this uh, now grenade pistol let's say and if we are using it uh, against an enemy that is within engagement range of this model, then we get an automatically hit, automatic hit on the target. So this is a really good stratagem, especially when we have death card units with uh, plague weapon grenades locked in combat. And especially if we have a Biologus Putrefier close by, because then they would be uh, having better, better uh, performance here. Uh, so, and the three models can be from different units, as I said, so you can select where it makes most sense. 
Uh, so it's only costing one command point, and you can it can give you 18 uh, auto hit shots in engagement range. And this is quite good, uh, really good for plague marines, uh, since uh, the plague marines don't have any pistols uh, to do anything in the shooting phase if they already start the, the round uh, locked in combat in engagement range. Um, I, this uh, the stratagem of course can also be helpful to shoot normally in close range, but then we don't get the auto hit. Uh, then basically we're just getting more shots than we would on average be doing, but but I think it's better to save this stratagem to use it uh, when we are locked uh, in in combat and we can use this as a yeah an additional bonus damage. So um, so here uh, we are looking at the blightening uh, and we are having three models that are in engagement range. Now the minus one toughness is effect. And here we see the damage uh, not point corrected. If we have uh, uh, the blue line is the normal blight grenades and, and the orange is if we have three models that can use uh, hyper blight grenades, basically they are close to Biologus Purifier or Biologus Purifier himself is one of the three models. So here we can see uh, we can do uh, quite good damage, additional, let's say four, three, four, five, more, uh, three, four, five wounds on average versus against the, the let's say, tougher opponents or very good damage output uh, versus uh, horde type cheaper infantry uh, out here. And of course, if we have the hyper blight grenades, we can do substantial damage uh, to, um, to a lot of the units. For example, here, if we fire at intercessors, we should be able to do seven wounds on average with three models that, that can, can do this. So it's 18 auto hit shots. Um, and here we could we could kill uh, seven seven intercessors here, or we could be killing let's say almost three uh, eradicators uh, with this extra bone in this extra bonus. Let's say when we are in engagement range. So the blightening can do some good damage, uh, and we can just see it as one command point for bonus damage, for example, for plague marines across a variety of targets, and we get double up our damage uh, with the hyper blight grenades for most of the targets. And here I'm summarizing the blightening damage output. Uh, so here is the average across all the 31 targets in the previous um, previous page, not point corrected. And here is if we have three models uh, that are using the blightening with normal blight grenades, we should be able to do five five wounds on average, let's say on average across all, all targets. Of course, more versus hordes and less against uh, a really elite type of vehicles, etc. Uh, so this is when we are in engagement range. And if we do the hyper blight grenades, we should be doing 10 wounds on average across a variety of targets. Uh, here is the, if, if the foul blight spawn is locked in, in engagement range, he doesn't have such good, uh, he doesn't have very good uh, melee capability. So this is, uh, he can be selected with the unholy heads grenade. It will still be a pistol six, even if the grenade is 2d6. So a pistol six here, he would be doing uh, some, some bonus damage here. Here we can see Biologus Putrefier, one model here, hyper blight grenade or the Lord of Cortagion with the orb of desiccation would be doing three wounds on average across all these targets and uh, just one uh, one normal uh, model with a blight grenade would be doing one and one point one and a half damage in engagement range this could be for example the play caster or yeah uh, typhus for example he can do some bonus damage with his blightening if he's selected as one of the three uh, if if we don't choose the blightening for models in engagement range and we are using it to do the six inch range, we get yeah almost let's say half this this expected damage. So I think it's good to uh, to 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 use this stratagem when we are in engagement range from the start of our 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 turn uh, to maximize the damage that we can do in the blightening, most efficient versus infantry and lower toughness targets in general. And uh, it can also be helpful. I mean, first of all, it's it's a good thing to do bonus damage uh, and unlock us from combat. And it can help, uh, but it can also help characters avoid being um, tied down in melee. For example, the Foul Blight Spawn, that's not very good in melee. The Playcaster, the Bayolugus, uh, or Lord of Contagion with the Orb. If he's, let's say, 
try to be locked down uh, with a, against the horde type enemy. So um, going to the summary and the final thoughts. So the grenades are good weapons uh, to use when we are at short range. Plague Marines are Virion Elite characters and several other HQ characters all carry some sort of grenades. Of course, not all HQ characters, but several of them have uh, grenades. If we are within range, uh, the grenade is typically a better option to use uh, compared to a bolt pistol, a bolter gun, and even a plasma pistol. And it's almost equal to a combi bolter. And of course, uh, always use uh, a grenade uh, for melee only models. Uh, it makes, of course, sense if you are in range, throw a grenade uh, for free, let's say. Um, the blight grenades are the best option versus one wound targets and especially hordes with the blast ability. The crack grenades uh, can be better versus uh, toughness 5, 6 and toughness 8 opponents with multiple wounds or toughness 6, 7 and 9 if we are within the contagion range. Here it's where the shift happens for these, uh, these weapons. And um, Biologus uh, Putrefier uh, greatly enhances the damage of blight grenades. Uh, basically, it's doubling the, the damage output and competing, let's say, with blight launchers for damage. So if you have if you have uh, Biologus close to to other characters and and Plague Marines, if they are within range, uh, it almost definitely would uh, make sense that at least yeah one model can can shoot uh, this uh, tough uh, better grenade. The Foul Blight Spawn is better off shooting his sprayer than, than, than uh, the ones per battle and Holy Heads Grenade for most, for most uh, uh, enemies. The Mortarian's Phosphex Bombs are his best ranged option if he can be close to the opponent, unless we can trace the Lantern Pistol versus several enemy units. And then finally, the Blightening Stratagem for only one command point is great for dealing bonus damage. And for maximum effect, use it uh, with uh, three models that are already in engagement range in the shooting phase, uh, preferably uh, versus enemy infantry. For example, Plague Marines, uh, they don't have any pistols typically, uh, or the Foul Blight spawn and other characters uh, that could not, maybe not be so good in melee. They could do this bonus damage, maybe come free and do, the, yeah, do much more damage with his uh, stratagem. So this... Uh, this concludes the, the video. What do you think about grenades? Uh, and um, have you been using the blightening? And what has the effect been? And have you seen this uh, good damage output from the blightening uh, stratagem? Uh, if you like this video, please press like and subscribe to the channel where we will be posting many more videos on death card tactics. And uh, if you want to support my efforts uh, further to bring you this analysis, if you want to have access to more results, Please visit my patron page uh, and uh, yeah for supporting uh, for supporting my my efforts and um, with these words uh, General Yanis is signing out stay safe out there and bye bye